Diamond will momentarily be making its approach from the right. In a relatively slow speed flight, they will give you an opportunity to take a close look at that very minimum 36 inch wing tip that can't be separation that exists between these four aircraft. From the right, the Blue Angel Diamond. sensation of weightlessness or ballistic flight similar to that experienced by our astronauts in space will now be solo powers approaching center point captain switzer and lieutenant commander stewart will roll the aircraft into a 90 degree angle bank and push forward on the stick as they perform the opposing knife edge pass Approaching from maneuver, I'm sure is familiar to many of you who might have seen the Blue Angels perform in the past. From the right at 400 miles per hour, the diamond roll. All four aircraft rolling as one in this graceful 360 rolling maneuver. Over the top, you get a platform view of the tight Blue Angel diamond. Once again, this time to demonstrate the inverted flight capabilities of these F-18s. Approaching inverted from the left and right, they will roll aircraft 360 degrees and cross over center point. The opposing inverted to inverted roll. Exit the fly line inverted, they will push forward in this day, performing a fiscally manual. To the left, the 
Diamond is setting up for their next maneuver. The Diamond Hill are on roll. Approaching center point. All four pilots on signal from Captain Walrich will roll their craft 360 degrees simultaneously. The very precise Diamond Hill are on roll. who understand that difficult transition from the cruise to the landing configuration will appreciate this next maneuver demonstrated by our two solo pilots. To the right, Captain Switzer and Lieutenant Commander Stewart have established a mirror image formation. But look closely for both aircraft in a carrier landing configuration. As they approach for a maneuver we call the Fortis. It's just important as high-speed flight. In order to demonstrate the dirty, slow-speed handling characteristics of the McDonnell Douglas FA-18, Captain Walters has called for the extension of the landing gear and tail hooks as they execute a maneuver performed by no other jet flight demonstration team in the world today. From the left at less than 250 miles per hour, the Diamond Dirty Loop. Captain Switzer and Blue Angel number five is approaching to demonstrate the turn radius of these F-A-18s. Let's watch as he executes a max performance minimum radius afterburner turn, sustaining seven and one half times the pull of gravity. Diamond pilots approach once again, you should notice two significant modifications. While Lieutenant Commander Packer and Lieutenant Commander Anderson maintain that minimum weight tip to canopy separation, the flight leader and slot pilot are both upside down. From the right, the Blue Angel double farble. From behind the 
expect today. Blue Angels 5-6 are approaching the flight line in the line of best formation. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposing minimum radius turn. Let's watch as both pilots sustain six times the pull of gravity required to cross the aircraft over center point. are now stacked out and aft on a 45 degree bearing line to establish a right echelon formation. From the right at 350 miles per hour, the Blue Angel Echelon Parade. up their next maneuver. Blue Angels 5 and 6 are approaching the flight line in a line of breast formation directly before us. Approaching center point, they will roll their craft 270 degrees and cross with minimum separation. Directly before you, the tuck away cross. The four diamond pilots have established a left echelon formation. Approaching center point, they will perform a maneuver the folks say cannot be done. A 360 roll into the three wingmen. During this extremely difficult maneuver, Lieutenant Commander Thompson on the outpost position will experience four times all right generated by Captain Woolrich's aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel left echelon roll. to the right. Let's watch as this three women smoothly shift back into the Blue Angel Diamond. Switzer rendezvous with a diamond to the right.
Captain Switzer has joined the diamond in a line of press formation. Still maintaining minimum separation, the pilots must now align themselves by looking 90 degrees from their flight path toward Captain Aldrich's aircraft. Experiencing heavy G, they will climb straight up into the vertical as they perform the very difficult five-plane line of brass loop. altitude of 7,000 feet. The power is these as aircraft round out the backside of this vertical looping maneuver. <laughs> Climbing into the vertical, Captain Woodwitz calls for another formation change for an attaching blow angel number five. several flight profiles of these F-18 Hornets. Our two solo pilots will now demonstrate roll rate control. Approaching center point, they will roll aircraft 360 degrees, pausing after each 90 degrees of roll, crossing over center point in the inverted position. The opposing four-point hesitation roll. into the vertical and shift back into the Blue Angel Diamond. Reaching 90 degrees nose up, the diamond will split with all four aircraft exiting a separate direction. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel vertical break. Stewart are approaching to demonstrate the tactical pitch rate of these F-18s. Crossing over center point, they will execute a max performance climb with a split S reversal. over center point with minimum separation.
Here's the Dominus setting up for one of the more difficult and dynamic rolling maneuvers. The tuck under break. Approaching center point in left echelon formation. He's power rolls aircraft 270 degrees in ripple fashion. Take separation and rejoin Captain Waldrich in the diamond formation. Captain Switcher and Lieutenant Commander Stewart are approaching to demonstrate the slow speed handling characteristics of the Horn and Lachlan configuration. They will pass before you virtually standing Blue Angels 5 and 6 on their tails. At less than 120 miles per hour, the state-of-the-art flight controls provide slow speed handling second to none. Passing center point. Both possible select full afterburner. Commanding 32,000 pounds of thrust to demonstrate the additional climb and acceleration capability of the FA-18. From the right, the section high alpha pass. Brakes are next at the fly line in a separate direction. The very graceful barrel roll break. perform here this afternoon is a McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet. It is the first naval jet as is both a fighter and attack aircraft. This rugged tactical jet has earned an unparalleled reputation for dependability, reliability, and weapon accuracy. It is built by the McDonnell Douglas Corporation in conjunction with the Northrop and Hughes Corporation.
is now called for our two solo pilots to join the diamond for that Delta Aerobatic Force Hard Flight Demonstration. From the right at 400 miles per hour, the Delta Roll. All five wingmen maintaining position on the leader as they roll 360 degrees over center point. Over the top, you get a platform view of the tight fluidal Delta Formation. formation back to the flight line. commence the reversal turn our two solo pass will change the formation and maintain position on the wings of lieutenant commander thompson in the slot this shift produces a formation we call the double v very shortly all six aircraft will be approaching for the blue angel photo lead in an aerial salute to fleet week all six aircraft will separate to form individual 360 rolls and a four diamond pass will run over through a vertical looping maneuver from the left at 450 miles per hour the blue angel florida lead before us and exit the fly line to the right. Let's watch as Captain Ulrich executes a reversal turn, rolling out the formation on the fly line for their next maneuver, the Delta Loop Break. As they pass before us, you should get a good look at the Delta set used by the five wingmen. Passing 
Captain Woolrich tosses his head back. Picking up the fly line here at San Francisco Bay. Over the top, he's floating the formation to put them directly over center point. Now, watch closely as Captain Woolrich calls. Smoke on, ready break. turn back towards the flight line. As they pull up and over the top, you should be able to follow the individual smoke trails as all six uh, simultaneously roll aircraft 180 degrees, so as to be headed back towards center point. Watch this next maneuver carefully. From six different directions with maximum speed and minimum separation, they'll converge on center point across with a combined closure rate of nearly 1,000 miles per hour. home based in Pensacola, Florida, recently completed an intensive winter training period at the Naval Air Facility of Central California. Once again, the beautiful weather in Pillow Valley provides us with the optimal conditions to fly each of the demonstration pilots on the 120 training flights necessary to our first public demonstration. Our show season reopened on the 20th of March and will run continuously each weekend through mid-November. The Blue Angels will be forming 68 flight demonstrations this season while visiting 35 cities throughout North America and the Hawaiian Islands. We will be on the road over 300 days this year in order to complete this demanding schedule. Gentlemen, your United States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron represents a time-honored tradition of pride, professionalism, and excellence spanning 82 years of naval aviation. The 1993 team takes a great deal of pride, excluding Navy and Marine pilots. May this crew to support personnel everywhere. From the left, the Blue Angels, 1993. <laughs>
and gentlemen, it has indeed been our pleasure performing for you here at San Francisco Bay. This is our 53rd flight demonstration of the 1993 season. Representing here the United States Navy and Marine Corps, the Blue Angels 1993. Ladies and gentlemen, as they leave the flight demonstration area, please, I would like you to join me in giving a great round of applause, please, to Blue Angel number seven, Mr. Rick Young, Lieutenant Rick Young, and the team event coordinator, Lieutenant Rob Sojourner, the United States Navy Blue Angels, ladies and gentlemen. What a fabulous show by a fabulous team, and they certainly are one of the most accomplished team of aviators flying anywhere in the world today. My personal favorites, and I'm allowed to have them, the United States Navy Blue Angels. We've had a fabulous show here for you today. I'm going to remind you.